If you are buying a Nintendo Switch for yourself or a loved one, there are six must-have accessories to get the absolute most out of your Nintendo Switch. So let's go ahead and jump right into the first one, the Ugreen Ethernet Adapter. So if you or your loved one is looking to play the Nintendo Switch online, and it's going to be docked, this thing is super helpful. What this does is it makes it so you can get an ethernet cable. You can plug this bad boy right in and then the USB port will plug right into the dock. So now what's going to happen is you're going to have the best online experience that you possibly can have with your Nintendo Switch. You can get the Ugreen ethernet adapter for about $15 on Amazon. Sometimes it's a little bit cheaper than that. I will go ahead and leave a link down below to all of the items we're talking about and we'll go ahead and move right on to the next one and so this is the fifth most important accessory when it comes to having a nintendo switch and that is the nintendo switch pro controller this thing just completely ups your game and is it's just so much better than trying to use those tiny little the, the tiny little joy cons right there's just something about them that when you're when you're playing in handheld mode I played this thing in handheld mode for almost an entire year before I upgraded to the Pro Controller and I honestly had no idea of what I was missing out on. It, it completely changed the game, literally. I mean, it just made my gaming experience just that much better, especially when I was playing first person shooter games or just anything that was using the thumbsticks quite a bit and the main reason is I noticed that when I was playing a game like Paladins or, or anything with a shooter the the way that the thumb button is is laid out here it's hard to use the thumbsticks to move and also press buttons at the same time it just it just doesn't work out very well just because the thumbstick is directly below these buttons but with the pro controller the thumbstick is off to the side so if you need to move and press buttons at the same time it's completely possible and it just it just feels so much better in your hands it's very ergonomical and this thing has a ridiculous battery life so i honestly don't think that you should go for the knockoff versions of the pro controller this is the most expensive item on this list and it goes from anywhere from about 65 dollars to 62 dollars but seriously this thing it just lasts for so long and it also has the motion controls if you want to be able to use it for a game like splatoon it's it's a good it's a good accessory i think you should get this one moving on to number four and some of the more important accessories on this list is a portable power bank this one is by pocket juice and this one specifically has 12,000 milliamp hours and what that is it's a measure of how much charge this thing can hold and the Nintendo Switch itself will hold 4,300 milliamp hours. And so that translates to roughly two and a half to three hours of gameplay, maybe three and a half if you're playing something like Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, when you go to something like 12,000 milliamp hours, this is going to at least double your game time, if not triple, because you'll have you'll have the three hours from your Nintendo Switch, and then you'll about double that when you go to 12,000 milliamp hours. And so Pocket Juice does sell some that are bigger. They go, I know they definitely have some that are at a reasonable price for 20,000 milliamp hours. Just note that you don't take the, the 4,000 milliamp hours of the Nintendo Switch, and say, okay, this will give you 3x the life. This has three of these in there um, because it takes a little bit of power to be able to transfer power. So this will essentially give you two Nintendo Switch lives in here, plus the one on here, and you're gaming pretty much all day. This thing is super, super useful. And honestly, now we're starting to get into like, th this is pretty much a must have. If you're gonna be traveling, you really want a way to be able to charge your Nintendo Switch because two to three hours really, it isn't that long if you're not able to get to a power supply. Three hours straight, that's quite a bit of time, but if you play it for an hour here and an hour there, it really adds up. And if you wanna extend that game time, Pocket Juice makes some really, really awesome power banks. And if not something like this, just make sure that you get something with a decent enough uh, amperage out this is five volts 3.4 amps out if you get one that says something less than 3a or 3 amps out it doesn't have enough power to actually start charging the nintendo switch so just something to look out for even if you don't go with this one
So the third most important accessory for Nintendo Switch is a micro SD card and I personally went with the 128 gigabyte one and that is because the Nintendo Switch only holds 32 gigabytes of internal storage and just to give you some context on that Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is a little bit over 13 gigs and so if you're playing games like Zelda Breath of the Wild and Super Smash Brothers and you're downloading games it's not going to hold a whole lot. It's only going to hold two to three big title games. And then indie games are a lot smaller. Um, and you'll be able to hold a bunch of those. But you really don't want to worry about that. And you really don't want to have some of your library on one micro SD card. And then some of your Nintendo Switch library on a second micro SD card. Because these things are tiny. And you don't want to go... Um, trying to find this. You want this to just be in your Nintendo Switch and, and just leave it there. So the 128 gigabyte SD cards, micro SD cards, are going to go for about $20. It's not very expensive and it makes for the perfect gift if you know that somebody just got a Nintendo Switch or if you're getting yourself a Nintendo Switch, you're going to need this. You really, really do. And you can get the next size up of 256 gigabytes for a around $40. Again, links down below. And let's move on to the next one. The second most important accessory for the Nintendo Switch is going to be the case. And that is because ideally you're going to be traveling with your Nintendo Switch. You're going to take it with you somewhere and you really don't want this thing that you just paid a whole bunch of money for getting all banged up. And so, I, I mean, ideally uh, all of the cases are going to have general basic functions of it can hold your games. Uh, you can put your Switch in here. You can hold some cords. And if, if you're real lucky, you get one or if you're real smart, you get one that can actually hold your power bank as well. Uh, you want it to, to just be as functional as you need it to be, and you don't want it to be bigger and more bulky than you need it to be. So I, I got a cloth one. I honestly, if I was to go back and do it again, I might get one that's a hard shell just because I think it would uh, it would help protect my Nintendo Switch just a little bit more. But honestly, this is this has done everything I've needed. I've been able to take this cloth case with me literally all the way around the world. I've traveled all over the place on, on planes and, and with the military. Even in the military, I've been able to keep my Nintendo Switch safe with this thing. So uh, I'll, I'll leave a link down to a couple of cases that I think that will be very, very helpful. And uh, honestly, I don't want to pick your case for you. I think that uh, you should just pick whatever case you think looks cool just you need one that's all i'm trying to say is you need a case it doesn't it doesn't have to be this case all right and last but not least the absolute most important accessory for your nintendo switch if if you don't get this accessory you are doing it wrong you're doing yourself a disservice and you are going to be upset very soon after getting your nintendo switch and what that is is a screen protector so I went with the U green screen protector and as you can see it might be a little bit hard to tell but there is a little lip right on here and it's just a little bit of tempered glass that sits on top of your Nintendo switch it also makes it really easy to clean as you can see it was a little a little messy there but boom look at that all shiny and clean just from rubbing it on my shirt so if you didn't already know the nintendo switch screen is made out of plastic and not out of glass so your cell phone is made out of glass and if it falls it is going to shatter and that's obviously really really bad what's good about the nintendo switch screen being made out of plastic is one if you drop it the screen isn't necessarily going to shatter or break in the same way that your cell phone would. The other thing is that with the screen being plastic, the colors on it are actually more vivid and bright than with a cell phone. It I'm, I don't know if it specifically saves power or not, but it, it at least has those two things going for it. The downside of having a plastic screen on your Nintendo Switch is that just about anything can scratch it or gouge it or mess it up. So if you are throwing this in a backpack, pack or a bag you're traveling with it you're doing anything with it there have been even cases of people just putting this in and out of the dock and the edges of the dock were enough to scratch the plastic on the nintendo switch screen could you imagine just using this the way that you're supposed to sliding it in and out of the dock could actually scratch your screen and that's why you need a u green screen protector heck it doesn't have to be u green 
you just need a screen protector. So there you go, that was the six must-have Nintendo Switch accessories. Let me know down in the comments below if you have actually picked up some of these accessories, or two, did you learn something? Did you learn that, oh shoot, maybe I need a screen protector on my Switch, or oh shoot, maybe I should try out that that Ugreen Ethernet adapter. There are some really cool accessories. This is not a video of the most flashy and crazy out there accessories. These are the ones that are just absolutely mandatory if you're getting a Nintendo Switch. I hope that I was able to help you out. My name is Relia, and I'll talk to you again more soon. Thank you.